Hi, my name is Cassie. I moved to New York to <sighs> when I was 18. A dream of being in the entertainment industry. I wasn't gonna come out and be like, oh, I'm do a this favor for me for my birthday you know, to be considered a role model because I'm still really. All of young. a sudden, I heard this song in the office, and then they asked me to come in, and I was like freaking out because I had no idea what was going on. And Tommy was like, do you sing? You've been waiting so long. I'm here to answer your call. I know that I shouldn't have had you waiting at all. Hi, my name is Cassie, and I grew up in New London, Connecticut. I moved to New York when I was 18 to pursue a dream of being in the entertainment industry. <laughs> I remember when I first ran into her, uh, you know, everyone talks about the Marquis story. I'm, I'm gonna tell you all the story before we hit March. There were a bunch of just gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous girls celebrating a birthday party. And I just saw that flock of girls, and there was a, a young lady who knew every lyric to every major rap record. So, actually, when I first heard about Ryan Leslie, it was through a makeup artist that I had worked with. And she was like, I know this really great producer. He is, you know, from what I've heard, he's really fun to work with. He's super talented. And I think you would get along with him great. Uh, it was actually uh, Diddy's makeup artist, a, a young lady by the name of Myla, who had told me about this young woman who had a beautiful texture to her voice that just needed to be developed. When I got to New York in October, I met Ryan at a party. I was actually picking up a check from a friend. Did you really think that you would keep a secret from me? He actually turned out to be a really great guy. He called me weeks after I gave my number to him. She was a little reluctant to let me know that she had a voice for real. I, I wasn't gonna be come out and be like, oh, I'm a singer, can we record a song? Uh, it wasn't until her mother coaxed us into cutting a record. She was like, look, you should just really ask him, do this favor for me, for my birthday, record me a song. And I was like, I, you know, you have to pay producers. I was like, I don't have any money. I was finally able to get her here, and uh, man, we made a record called Kiss Me. The following day, we went to Casablanca, which was his label, and um, I went in to pick up the song, so I could send it to my mother. And I walked in, and Tommy Matola saw me. He was like, who's that? And I saw, I noticed that everybody was looking at me like, you know, like who's this random girl in the office. All of a sudden, I heard the song in the office, and then they asked me to come in, and I was like, freaking out, because I had no idea what was going on. And Tommy was like, do you sing? I was like, you should. So that's where everything started, and I got my deal from there. Uh, Tommy saw magic in this thing, uh, and I think he saw some of the same things that I saw, uh, in that Cassie just had, a, had, a, had a, a special voice, but not only a voice, but even the texture of her voice, the way that she delivered the record, was something that was special, and it's something that really, uh, it really touched the heartstrings. We recorded Me and You, May of 2005, I think it was the second or third song that I had recorded, and Ryan said he was going out to Germany with another artist, and they were just like, do you wanna come? Do you wanna perform your stuff? And I was like, no, I was like really nervous. I, I, I performed the record overseas for the first time. Uh, she got a chance to, uh, I think it was actually her first time in Europe, and we were in Germany and we performed this record and, and people was, it, it was just something magic about this record. Me and you, it's just me and you. It's just us two, it's just me and you. We're here to celebrate um, Cassie signing and the next elections, big move, and um, you know, we wish them the best of success. Signed the bad boy. I want y'all to give it up for Cassie. Also, yeah. we flew out to Germany. They pushed me on stage. I thought I was gonna throw up. <laughs> it was just like, it was a lot for me. But um, that's how the song grew. I performed Mr. Touching Me and You, and people fell in love with me and you in Germany. And um, 
then it just spread out and as soon as as when it got to the states it was already big everywhere else and we have somebody new here to toronto <laughs> new to the scene <laughs> new on the on the charts and we're doing up real here real big here on flow 93.5 we've got to hear the song blazing everybody's been asking about that sample man and me a new sample what was that girl what's her name it's my first video interview and i'm really really nervous <laughs> What's up, my name is Cassie, I'm with Next Selection, and um, I'm so excited that you guys are playing my song. It's this is big. incredible. Big, big it's tune, incredible. man. Mm. DJs all the time, radio DJs, um, mixed DJs, I love them all, but they're like, oh, I played it first, oh, I played it first. I was like, no, I did. The night that I recorded it, I brought it out to a club and um, with Ryan, and we got them to play it. I know the my been talking about the way I do what I do. I think that it was just, it's an infectious song. It has a weird, creepy vibe, but at the same time, it's like fun to sing along to, and um, it's just simple. And I hear, Miss Cassie, that you're gonna be doing a performance tonight over at Dream. Yeah, it's gonna be like house party style. Okay. Mm. Uh, probably be dancing on the couches on the table. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, we'll see. Um, you never know. You never know. We did the record in May of last year, and uh, it's been spreading around the globe slowly but surely. So I'm going to let you do the honors of throwing to that tune. What's up? This is Cassie of Next Selection, and this is my song, Me and You, on Flow 93.5, Toronto's Hip Hop and R&B. Yeah! 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, ladies and gentlemen, you know we have to do a remix, right? Y'all feel us heating up. The world famous, the world famous, the Grand Imperial. Y'all feel us heating up. Tommy Diddy, and they call her Cassie. This Next Selection, you know how we do this. Is the remix. I would you talk about. We decided that uh, it would be interesting to actually put this thing somewhere where millions of people who are looking for new music can find it. You know, if you're a kid on the internet and you're looking to find new music and become a fan of somebody new, you go on the internet, you go on MySpace. People find me. And we put up a profile on Cassie, and uh, within three weeks, I think at the time, there were about 660,000 artists. Within three weeks, this record uh, propelled Cassie to the top 10 artists on MySpace. And uh, young women especially really began to connect with this record. It, it, it really became clear that this was something a lot bigger than we ever expected. And that's uh, when, when, the, uh, when, when the major labels started to come knocking. I love my MySpace friends. <laughs> and if I haven't added you yet, it's because I have a lot of friend requests all the time. Now, what you're experiencing right now is, is, is really just the magic of doing things yourself. And that's kind of Cassie's magic, and that's kind of the magic of next election. Hey! When Ryan and I get into the studio, we do everything from scratch. I come in the studio, um, he lays down a beat, we like, you know, he plays back and forth, like, do you like this? What do you want to hear? What's your mood? Give me all a little taste, a little snippet, a little glimpse, if you will, into the way that a record is made up here. We'll play around for a while until we figure out what we like and what I really want to say and what I would say in real life so that it's actually me. So that's the album is actually stuff that I would say and things that I actually have said. Call you out, like I'm gonna call you out on that. Like, I'm gonna call you out, I'm gonna call you out. Oh, that's messed up, you know. You got a long way to go, stay away from me. <laughs> Since you got a long way to go, rock with me. You claim that you're so hot, and you say you got skills in the bedroom. This, this record is called Long Way to Go. We've already recorded it. Um, it's one of Cassie's favorites, it's one of my favorites. Long Way to Go 
is very, um, is like really girl power. It's like really telling a guy, like, leave me the hell alone. Like, don't touch me. And then I'll open it up and do. I like that because there's a slight Asian reference. I was, yeah. And recently that's been like the new thing. <gasps> really? With the, what was it in the last song we did? A Long Way to Go? At the end of it, there's like this, like, I don't know what he's playing, but it's all the backup dancers have to be Asian. A song that I wrote with the band that I was talking about, Pretty Boys, is a favorite. It's called What Do You Want? And um, it's kind of like when I say what do you want from me in the song and the hook, it's like kind of taunting. Like, like what do you want me to do? Like, get away from me. What do you want from me? How can I give it I'm a, I'm a, Oh, I won't sing this part. I won't sing this part. I was like, wait, okay. Just you sing this part and then I'll lay that down after so I don't Okay, 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 okay. But do you want Hopi to sing it with you? Or do no, you no, just no, want to freeze No, no, no. No, let me just put it down. Freeze out, freeze out, freeze out. Start it over. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do Cassie over. I'll listen to Cassie. Make sure I listen to it on Tuesday. And I'll call y'all with all the notes for Cassie. I love it when they try to get into me, even though they know I really ain't into it. You're not into it. I'm not into it. I already know the game and I've been through it. So I buy my own bags, my boots, my jeans, well, I'm Love it though. I think you'd be more comfortable with the rap though if you want to rap. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's the first time you did it. Like, yeah. You listen to it for a while. Yeah. Okay, I would say, um, just keep riding with it. I heard it first on the radio in Toronto, but I was at the radio station. So the first time I heard it in the city, in New York, I was driving to Connecticut for my grandparents' anniversary party with my cousin. I'm on the radio! I'm on Hot 97! And um, we were listening to Hat 97, and somebody called us, and they were like, turn on the radio, Hat 97. And we just started screaming and singing the song. And um, we actually have it on camera. Ryan taped it, of course, for the vlog. And uh, it was amazing. I called my mom, I was screaming. It was really amazing. That was like the best feeling. I didn't think I would react like that at all. Well, I shot um, the Me and You video with a director named Bray K. Who's a young artist himself. It's so a hard math. What's this? <laughs> Hi, Cassie. Think of a number between two and nine. Don't tell me what it is. Seven. No. dance. <laughs> Y'all got a dance playback, please. And I need to see one more. I need to see one more. Yeah. 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 Yeah
mom's dad is West Indian from Angola and Beckway, and her mother is black and Mexican. And then my dad's family is all Filipino. <laughs> so half Filipino, half black on my birth certificate. I'd give anything, go anywhere when it comes to your love. I was talking to my brother the other day about like, when did you think that you would become something? And I remember telling people my entire life, I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> Like, that's just how I was. I didn't even know what that meant. I didn't know what I was going to do or what. It's the way that you show. Show you care. Show that you love. This has been an unbelievable process, and I'm glad that all of you, that all of you loved the music and fell in love with Cassie. You want to be an accomplished person. You want to be successful. You want to show people um, your artistry. You have to stay focused, and you can't give up, not even for a second. We're out.